Hello and welcome to the Philippines. My friend uh, took the camera and went shopping the other day. And what she's found is that some of the stores that are open, they don't have the items that you're looking for. So you need to uh, hunt around at other stores. And uh, oftentimes when she goes shopping, I might get two or three or four different videos out of those uh, shopping trips that she makes. So no, she doesn't go out every day. And uh, the garbage men are out there continuing to work. Uh, some of the streets are closed off. And uh, there is pretty much, there are very few buses. There are a few buses in certain localities, but uh, they don't run that often. Uh, social distancing, even here at the bakery shop. Uh, they've, got, they've got some twine around, some rope around, so you have to order from outside the shop and they'll bring you your goods. And anyway, she went for a walk, and she was going to Robinson's Galleria. She was at uh, Robinson's Fuente the other day on Fuente Osmina Circle. And didn't find, well, actually it was, they had a long backup people waiting to get in, so she didn't wait there. She went to Fuda, got a few items, and now she's decided that she can probably find what she's looking for at Robinson's Galleria. Well, this is a new condominium. It's been under construction for a number of years. Um, uh, let's see, what's it called? Uh, Cebu City Lofts 1. And uh, it's not open yet. I looked online, couldn't find any pricing about it. Uh, it's been under construction on again and off again. Apparently they are tied in with the Crown Regency as well as Club Ultima. Uh, so I'll do another video about that later, as I've, I've got some video I took for, uh, with some people over at uh, Club Ultima. The water business is alive and well. Uh, pretty much everybody here orders water in these five-gallon jugs. And uh, if you pick it up at one of these places that cleans it, uh, purifies it, you can get it oftentimes for 15 to 20 pesos per five gallons and uh, I have it delivered for I think 40 pesos a piece which is just fine 80 US cents for five gallons of water lasts almost uh, almost usually five six days and anyway the people that out they have to have passes to be out walking around occasionally somebody gets arrested for not having a pass or even if they have a pass if they uh, are wandering around and they don't have a good reason to be wandering around <laughs> they have they have arrested some of those people as well and everybody is pretty much wearing masks different parts of the Philippines are under different types of restrictions some places uh, people can walk around and go around without too much trouble because there are no or few cases and uh, other places like Cebu City, and in fact, certain parts of Cebu City that are under strict lockdown if they have many cases in one situ of, a, of one barangay, one village area, uh, then they're very strict. Uh, now here, at, it's uh, this time, they are talking about, uh, you know, the, the quarantine lasts until the end of April officially, but they're, they're discussing with the experts whether they can uh, lift some of the quarantine, make a modified quarantine in certain areas where there are a few cases, uh, whether it will be extended as is in all places, many of the places. So the regions have some local control, as does the federal government have some control. So all we can do right now is wait it out. Um, the number of cases reported, I don't know. I don't, I don't think those numbers are, uh, they're important, but only to a point. For instance, how many, you know, there's been many reports around the world of, of test testing with false negatives and false positives. Uh, for, inst uh, for instance, there's a medical center, I think up in Manila that had uh, over 40 of the staff uh, showed positive tests. Therefore, they were put under 14-day uh, uh, quarantine under surveillance. But none of them, none of them had any symptoms. So 
you really start to question how accurate the tests are. Uh, time will tell. Time will tell. I know that many, some of the tests that came out of uh, China, there's a number of articles to different countries, they proved to be ineffective with uh, false positives, false negatives. Uh, so it's a, it's a moving situation that we have, and we're just going to have to wait to find out how serious it is. When all the data comes in a number of months from now, or years from now, and is analyzed, uh, then we'll have a little bit better idea. But right now, if, if somebody gets the virus, and uh, if they don't have symptoms, they get the virus, they get well, or they, or they are seriously ill and they recover, nobody really knows those antibodies. Uh, are you now immune for a month or two months or six months or two years? Nobody knows the answers to those questions, so it will just be a matter of time. Now right here, my friend is only about two blocks away from where she wants to go, Robinson's Galleria. But she was under the impression that that store was closer to SM Mall. So she took a left turn and uh, <laughs> walked way out of her way, walked down to SM Mall, and then she went down a block or so, had to come all the way back. And uh, anyway, big there's a big cemetery to the left over here. I think uh, there are a number of people that live in that cemetery. I've done a... Uh, I've got like 600 videos up. One of them, at least one of them, was a walk through a cemetery where many people were living in. Maybe I'll put a link to that at the end of this uh, end of this video. Uh, this is a main road that goes between uh, the uh, SM Mall. It's it's a main road that just kind of continues on up up the north. And uh, got a big Nissan dealer. Uh, Toyota actually is the biggest seller here, and here is one of the gates going into the cemetery area. I've been here in Cebu City a little over four years, although I've taken a couple trips out of the country to Vietnam and back to the USA, and I've seen a lot of changes going on. Uh, a lot of new condos going up. Uh, and many of you know I, I do a lot of reviews of condos, real estate, cost of living here in the Philippines. And uh, I do walk a lot. And like the store over here, uh, Weight Gold, I did a video about that two or three years ago. And they have closed the Weight Gold down. They're building a big new expansion to it, demolishing the old one. And I suspect sometime next year that will be finished. And much bigger, much oh, Gaisano, one of the Gaisano groups. And this is uh, Sun Vida. Now, I've got an Australian friend who had two units there. He bought them pre selling, and he sold one of those to a subscriber of mine. And I think he still has one for sale. It's right across the street from the SM Mall, very large mall in Cebu City. If you're interested, let me know, and I'll put you in touch with him. He also has a unit available for sale in uh, Persimmon, a one bedroom, very nice one bedroom. I lived there for a number of months. And I think he still has two available in uh, Bamboo Bay, Bamboo Bay condominiums. And anyway, here my, my friend asked somebody, where is, where is Robinson's Galleria? And they informed her, well, you need to go back to where you came from, lady. So in the end, and I'll show you the map of where she walked, she ended up walking about 10 kilometers. Uh, Google Maps says you can do it in two hours, but she stopped to shop, and uh, so it took her about four hours by the time she walked the whole distance. Uh, but she walked, uh, she, she did more than a little shopping, and then she had to carry those bags home most of the way. So here she's going back the direction she came from, the building down there. Uh, San Marino, I've done a, a condominium. I've done a video about uh, that condominium as well. I had a subscriber I met. He told me he had bought a unit in there. Uh, he had met very convenient to SM Mall, obviously, and, and 
Robinson's Gallery is kind of down at the end of this. A oh, number of blocks straight down here. Uh, but he had mentioned he didn't think the, the maintenance of, of the uh, building wasn't as really up to par. That's what he had mentioned to me. Now, I've done a number of videos on the cost of living and cost of condos as I review condos. Uh, that's something that changes in time, changes by the location of the condo within a unit. Usually the higher you go up, the more expensive they are. Uh, with the present situation, uh, there's a lot of speculation about you know, what's going to happen to condo prices. Or will you be able to find a lot of good deals? I've been reading and I've been watching uh, various interviews with the property people. And... Uh, in, in a month or two or three, I will do another video about that. But uh, there will obviously, as there always will be, there will be good deals if you go out and search for them, people who want to get rid of their property. And look out for that hole. I have fallen in a few holes like that, walking at night without a flashlight, and I've learned to always carry a flashlight with me. Now well, this is pretty much a, a big, mostly a warehouse district down here. And they've got a couple new stores, a new Hino. My friend, like many Filipinos, uh, only knows their local area. And uh, she is, she's been amazed as she's walked around because she's forced to walk. No buses, no, no jeepneys, no hobble-hobble motorbike taxis. So you're forced to walk. And uh, she has been uh, very surprised and uh, about finding, discovering the various places that she never knew about in Cebu City. And here again, as a, as a uh, lady walking around the streets by herself, even in these warehouse districts, uh, she hasn't been harassed or hassled or had, had any issues. Now this, is, this used to be a condominium that you could rent from too. Uh, Aero Towers, but I understand now that they had, they've turned it in pretty much to a company condo where company employees live there. Anyway, I will break down the, the rest of the video into another one or two videos. And uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, what's happening in your part of the world, and we'll see you next time.